70 million people from northern Texas to the Great Lakes spend part of the day under winter weather alerts. State transportation departments urging people to use caution when driving, or really the best thing to do is to stay home. We had some really cold weather over the weekend, but nothing compared, obviously, compared to that. No, I experienced some snow this weekend, too, up north, and it's good to keep it up there. Yeah, <laughs> you, you were happy to be back. I was happy to Florida. be back, yeah, and head, heading to the beach. But uh, looking at breezy conditions continuing, we had a, the breeze blowing some clouds. Tammy Nevin, our weather spotter club, Paul Beach Gardens here showing off the clouds that have blown on in here from these uh, onshore winds. So the sunshine didn't last long, but you know what? The cold didn't last long either. It warmed up a little bit today in the low 70s. We were nowhere near the chilly temperatures we saw this uh, weekend in the mornings in the 40s, but we saw the 60s for lows and we're going to continue to warm up here all the way through the week with finally this weather pattern of having fast moving every three days, something coming through. We're pumping the brakes on that, slowing down and taking it easy for a little bit here with uh, the weather not changing a ton day to day and just a little bit warmer each day. Windy weather too is not going to change. We're going to keep that pretty windy through most of the week. It comes down a little bit mid to late week, but still a little bit on the breezy side. A couple sprinkles here. I enhanced the radar. Just a couple sprinkles blowing on in. It's nothing real heavy. Same with South County. Seeing just a few into Boca, and uh, that's about it. And that easterly flow, 20 miles per hour, gusting into the low 30s, 32 in Miami. And we've had that throughout the day today. Temperatures holding steady from earlier today than the 6 o'clock show. We saw temperatures in the upper 60s, the low 70s, and that's where they're at right now. We won't drop too far overnight, maybe a couple of degrees. Mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees along the coast. And then high temperatures tomorrow will be warmer into the mid to upper 70s. Still breezy, but that wind turning a little bit more east-southeast, and that'll increase humidity some. Make it feel a little bit warmer out there and also blow in a couple of showers from time to time. So again, these won't be big rain makers or anything, but you get a quick shower and then it'll move on. Maybe thinning the clouds up late, but uh, still Wednesday looks mostly cloudy. A couple of showers around, maybe some breaks by the end of the day Wednesday as we heat things up a little bit more. And then Thursday, Friday, a little bit more sun, less cloud cover and less passing showers around. Humidity stays pretty constant here after tomorrow it bumps up without another cold front dropping it down. It stays pretty steady, but you tell where that next cold front is. Here it is Sunday night, Monday morning, and then we'll drop everything after that. Beach and boating forecast looking pretty rough all week long, but the weekend looks fantastic as the wind and seas calm down over the weekend. So Without another cold front, slow step up each day. We reach the 80s and we stay there for a little bit all the way through the weekend. We'll see the 80s. The Coleman Walk in the morning on Saturday looks great. You want to head out to the South Florida Fair this weekend? Fantastic for that too with the low 80s for highs and mainly dry. Cooler on Monday.